we really believe what unlocks the potential of RAG are multi-step processes in which you're able to navigate around a complex set of corpuses of different information. Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. We are gonna be going through two demos in about the next seven or eight minutes. And it's on one of the patterns that we believe is the most important. And so if you've been following our video series, we've done several things around how do you extract from a piece of text, whether it's you know a named entity, a topic, some form of summarization, extreme summarization, tags. Today, we're actually gonna be using a Slim Extract tool. Um, but then that's usually the first step. You wanna be able to extract something programmatically from a piece of text, take that key, that information, that value that you've just been able to secure, and then use it in some either secondary model call or some lookup or some form of retrieval. So we're gonna be going through two different recipes today. One, a more basic one that we're gonna go through fairly quickly. And then the second one where we're gonna spend a little bit of time. As always, all the code is available in the LLMware GitHub repository. Mm. So quick view of what we're gonna be covering. And the first is just a very basic kind of recipe on how you do this extract then look up. The example that we're gonna be using is one we've used in a couple of other videos, which is just a financial earnings release. What we're gonna do out of that financial earnings release, that context passage, we're going to have the model extract the company name. We're gonna then take that company name and we're gonna use it then as the basis for a secondary lookup. Again, we wanted to provide this code. It's probably 20 or 30 lines of core code. So you can programmatically unpack the output from this function calling extract model, how you handle the if thens around it and how you actually start to pass that information then into a secondary source. But the example that we really wanna show, and we're gonna spend a little bit more time in the video is on what we would call a two-stage extract lookup. This is where it starts to get a little bit fun and a little bit more interesting, like real life, isn't just you have one thing and then you go do something else. We really believe what unlocks the potential of RAG are multi-step processes in which you're able to navigate around a complex set of corpuses of different information, programmatically handle it with if-then statements, and based on what you're learning, put together different strategies programmatically. Again, we see that ultimately as the core of the potential of agents and function calling models. So again, building on that, what we're actually gonna show in, in the main example is actually a two-stage extract and lookup. So we're gonna do the first part. We're gonna go read that passage. In this case, we've got two or three different little examples we'll show. But one of them is we're gonna say, go get us the name of the CEO. In that press release, it includes the CEO's name and a statement from the CEO. Go tell us um, who the CEO is. Once we have um, that CEO's name, we're then gonna go call uh, Wikipedia. Wikipedia is then gonna go gather the information on the CEO. And then we're gonna go make a secondary extract call on that Wikipedia passage and say, great, now, now tell us what the CEO's birthday is. So here we're programmatically tying together a RAG process where we're using inputs from one process into the next and automatically able to start stringing together these sorts of calls. So that's what we're gonna go do. Let's dive right in. Again, we've got a few um, quick demos that we wanna show. All right, so flipping over to the code, this is the example. It's just a simple kind of financial earnings release from the company Nike, very famous footwear and apparel company. As I mentioned, the first example, you can see it laid out here really clearly. I'm gonna run it, but I'm not gonna spend much time going through it. Really, we wanted to share this. It's a really nice hello world kind of recipe just to help you get started with this stuff. So let's go ahead. We're, we're just gonna quickly run that. So I'm gonna run the first example. There we go. So we called on the model with that passage. Um, the model was loaded into memory and everything was running locally. Specialized function calling extract model. We passed the key company name. The response then that we get from the LM is not a big chunk of text. It's not something you know undefined. It's a well-defined Python dictionary with the key that we passed. So we get back a key with the company name, and then the value is always gonna be in the form of a list. In this case, it's a list with one element. The, el the one element that we have is the name that we were looking for. It is the name of the company that it extracted successfully from that passage. With that company name in hand then, we are gonna go call the Wikipedia API and we're gonna pull up a really nice kind of set of background text on Nike. I went through that really quickly because where I wanna spend a little bit more time is on the second example. And as I said, this is more of a two-step extraction. I said we're gonna do the CEO, we're gonna to come to that example in just a second. But one thing to note, if you, if you go back and look at this passage, it actually does mention a city, which is Beaverton, Oregon. And Beaverton, I think, is the headquarters of Nike. So here in our two-step process, we're gonna call this function. And 
we're going to say, all right, go into that first passage and extract the city. Use the name of that city to go call Wikipedia, pull up information from that city, from Wikipedia, and then tell us the population and give us the right answer. So let's run this second example. And again, it's loading the model locally. All right. It was successful. It did extract Beaverton, Oregon as the name of the city. It then ran this secondary lookup. So this was pulled from the Wikipedia API and nice little Wikipedia thing that you'd expect, a good overview of the city of Beaverton. And then we did a second extract run on that and it gave us the population. So pretty cool. We ran this sort of two-step process using a piece of information in one text to guide us to the next step in the process. And then out of that next step in the process, programmatically going and extracting additional information from it. Now, some of you may have seen, we have another video that's all about how do you handle not found. So revenue, totally sensible thing to ask about Nike as a company, not really very sensible to ask about a city. So what's gonna happen now if we do this lookup, we look up this whole passage on Beaverton, and we say, tell us the revenue. How is the model gonna respond to something like this? Pretty cool. So this is the output that we got from the model. Again, the extract model is always going to give us the key as the first part of its response of revenue with an empty list, meaning it didn't find anything about revenue associated with Beaverton Organ. So it got it right. It handled it the way that we thought it would when we passed, in effect, a nonsensical secondary key, something that wasn't covered by the lookup that it was doing. But now finally, we'll sort of close with the example that we started with, which is let's actually say... We're going to go read that passage, that financial earnings statement, pull out the name of the CEO, pass that name to Wikipedia, pull up presumably an article about the CEO, and then tell us the CEO's birth date. All right, there we go. Pretty cool. So it found the CEO's name in that passage. We passed it to Wikipedia. And always Wikipedia, you can count on it giving the right information. And there we go then. Our Slim Extract tool then running against that Wikipedia passage for birth date, correctly pulled out the birth date for the CEO. Pretty cool. So we've we've shown a one-step extract and lookup recipe. We've provided the second example then that has a lot more capability behind it, including the ability to start stringing together multiple extract and lookup patterns together into a more complex workflow. So we hope you've enjoyed the example today. As always, it's available in the LM or GitHub repository in the Slim Agents section. Any questions, comments, please come join us on Discord. Thank you, everybody. Hope you have some fun working through this example. Hope everybody has a wonderful day up ahead. Thanks, everyone.